Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Judith. This time of year, it is spring, lamb is readily available. And if you like me, you have roasted a leg of lamb recently. Well, what do you do with the leftover? Because they're always way too big for dinner. And you can only eat leftover lamb so many times. Anyways, so I still have a lot of meat on my lamb bone. We're going to cut most of that meat off and we're going to throw it in a pot and make some lo lovely lamb stock. And then combine that with a bunch of vegetables and some barley and make a beautiful scotch broth. We have our vegetables and everything ready to go. So we have one large leek, washed and sliced thinly. Two medium onions, or actually here they would be called small onions, peeled and diced. One large carrot. Now I do use the Chinese sweet carrots, they're very big. If you can't find those, just use two or three depending on the size of regular carrots. Uh, three to four stalks of celery, diced. One rutabaga, or this is actually about a third of a smallish rutabaga. Now if you're in England, you'd probably call it a Swede. If you're Scottish, it's a neep. And a lot of people just call it turnip. But this is not the purple top turnip, this is rutabaga. Um, and we have the diced lamb meat. And of course, what scotch broth without pearl barley? The last item is just uh, optional. When you've got your soup done and rid and served, it is authentic to put a dram of whiskey in each bowl. So there's the scotch whiskey. <laughs> Not saying we're actually going to put it in the bowls, but you can if you like. And we are going to saute our vegetables in a little bit of olive oil before we add the broth. Now that we've got our pot warmed up, I'm going to just have it on a very a low heat. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're going to add our leeks, or leek. That is one large leek topped, washed and chopped, the, the white and the light green part, not the dark green part. Push around in the oil there. And our onions. So that is two smallish yellow onions chopped. Now we're just going to let those sweat down a little. Now you do want to watch this because you don't want them to brown. So give it a good stir now and then. You might want to add a little more oil or some salt. Actually, I think we'll add some salt to that. And that will help sweat it. A little bit more oil. Because it seems to have soaked up all the oil I put in. Just put another half a tablespoon. And I'm going to turn the heat down a tiny bit. Like I said, we don't want this to brown, but we do want it to cook it. We do want to cook it down. So keep it on a low heat. And you could put a lid on it once you're sure that the temperature is 
low enough that it's not going to burn on you. Okay, I think we're doing okay. This has to cook for some time. So I'm going to put a lid on and leave it for a while and come back and check in about 10 minutes. And that's our 10 minutes. Let's take a look here how we're doing. Ooh, looking lovely. We are going to let it go a little longer. We are going to turn the heat down just another notch or two. We do want this sweated down quite a lot. We don't want... Um, we want it basically mush. So, turn the heat down. It is because it is starting to get a little color there, but if we turn the heat down, it should be okay. And we'll give it another five or ten. After another five minutes, we strained our broth into it. And I did only strain it because I put a pep um, some peppercorns and a bay leaf in. But, and we put the bone back in, which is always helpful. I mean, it's still got a lot of flavor. There's still meat on it. And now that we've got that in there, we're going to add our rutabaga. Celery. And carrots. There we go. Now we're going to put the lid back on. Bring it up to a simmer and let it go for a while. So we're going to turn the heat back up and keep an eye on it. Now we have our soup as it is so far. Coming up to a nice boil or a very strong simmer. We are going to add potatoes. And this, yes, I did leave these out when I was talking about the vegetables. I have three yellow potatoes diced. And yeah, I do keep my potatoes in water until I want to use them. You don't want your potatoes going brown or black or... Yeah, just discoloring. Oh, and that is nice and thick. So we're going to add some water. Make sure you start with a really big pot. And now we're going to add our barley. Remember, pearl barley takes a lot less time to cook than pot barley. So depending on which one you're using, your timing of when you put it in is crucial. And you do want to put lots in. So that was probably three quarters of a cup. And I may want even more. So we're going to bring it back up to a boil and let it cook for a little while longer. Once you get it back up to temperature, so let's see it's starting to bubble there. We want to take a taste and make sure we've got enough salt in it. Mmm. Tasting really good, but yeah, it definitely needs more salt. And be judicious when adding your salt. You don't want to add too much because you can't take it back out. 
So that was about a teaspoon. Let's give it another go here. Mm, much better. Don't want any more than that. Also want some white pepper. So, and another thing. You know, put it in, you can't take it back out. So be careful. So that was about an eighth of a teaspoon. And so push the rest off in there. Now, depending on how much you like pepper, I'm not a huge fan. White pepper I like better than black. But you do always want to be careful. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah. That's good. And definitely enough pepper. So now we're going to turn it to a simmer. And let it cook until the vegetables are tender. In 15 to 20 minutes. And then we'll add our cubed lamb pieces. And it has been, our soup has been cooking for 30 minutes or so, maybe closer to 45. It's getting nice and thick and the barley is looking lovely. Yeah, you don't, you don't want your barley raw. You don't, really don't want it crunchy. So we're going to add our lamb meat and give it a stir. And we'll give it a few minutes to warm up and then it's time to serve. A little parsley leaves on top for garnish and some good bread and it's dinner. Scotch broth. A wonderful way to use up some leftover leg of lamb. It is a hearty and filling soup. Lots of barley in there. I think I even put more barley in it than I put in my beef and barley soup. It is delicious and easy to do. Let's take a look in there and look at all that. That's just absolutely fabulous. Ooh, I can't resist. I need a taste. Mmm. I hope the video was informative and that you enjoyed watching it. Love that you watch my videos. I appreciate everyone that has subscribed, that watches. Please comment, please give it a like, share with your friends. I'm working on building my channel and it's, it's doing great. Thank you all so much. Come back soon. I will have new recipes. I put out a new recipe every week. I will see you again next week. Thank you so much for watching.